Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Well, my mom's kitchen, but I'm cooking in it. So today I'm going to be making some spinach dip. I I love spinach dip, especially homemade spinach dip, like this specific recipe of spinach dip, but like at our good restaurant, like Montana spinach dip, oh, so good, they do it so good. Some places you can get a good spinach dip, some places bad. Like we got some from the grocery store once. Oh my God, it was bad. Anywho, the recipe, I will link it below. It is from all recipes. I'm pretty much copying this recipe, but I will be like modifying it a tiny bit. The first thing I'm gonna do is get out my ingredients. We were getting ready and there wasn't a cloud in the sun. Okay, here we have our ingredients. We have spinach, of course, mayonnaise, sour cream, water chestnuts, vegetable soup mix and onion soup mix first thing i'm gonna do is um like cut up the spinach and stuff so i'm gonna get a cutting board i don't know what size but i'm gonna use this size of knife and then i'm gonna get a bowl okay so now i'm just gonna take spinach clean it and put it into there That took me way longer than I hope it would. A bunch of that spinach was like wilty. So we have this much spinach. I don't know if it's enough or not, but whatever. If it's a little bit less spinach, then it's a little bit less spinach. What else? So next thing I'm gonna do is the water chestnuts. Here they are, I have to open them. <gasps> They're leaking. Ah! I'm gonna open it in the sink. So now I'm gonna grab this thingy madoodle. This thingy, what you do is you just take all your things underneath it. I might have to do more than one group. I might have to do two groups. We'll do it in two batches. So you take them all under it like this and then it's like a, it's like a slap chop. It's like that. And you just like and now they're all like diced. They're supposed to be sliced, but mm -mm. there. Look at that. That was look how easy that was. And then oh. perfect. One container of sour cream. And then I'm also gonna do another cup of it. How many ounces is 500 milliliters? 16 ounces. Oh, so then I only need half of this for one second. Okay, I figured it out. So the recipe calls for one eight ounce container of sour cream, and then it calls for two and a half cups of mayonnaise, but that's too much mayonnaise and not enough sour cream. Like the ratio is just kind of off. So instead what I'm doing is gonna put in, I won't need this container actually, like at all. This is two cups right here. So what I'm gonna do is two, double the sour cream and then take away a cup from the mayo. So instead it'll be two cups or two eight ounce containers of sour cream and then one and a half cups of mayo. Mm -mm -mm. Also, by the way, I'm just like, you may know from watching my other cooking videos, I'm such a messy cook. I just like, I just get stuff everywhere and I don't know how to stop that. Okay, sour cream is done. One and a half cups of mayo. We were getting ready and then... Have you guys seen Encanto? I'm literally obsessed with the music. The movie was pretty good, like I really enjoyed it. I almost cried. Music is stuck in my head. I can't stop seeing We Don't Talk About Bruno because it's all over TikTok and it's so good. Lynn is so good at making songs. And that's all I gotta say. <gasps> See? I spilled mayo on the counter. So there was my second day of school in the new year, like for the winter term. And it's fine. We're online for the first couple weeks um, because of Omicron. The university is like, yeah, we'll probably go back. But in person, 
but I don't know. It, I'm really, really hoping that we get to go back in person because all last term, I was pretty much online the whole term just because that's what my classes work now. And so I'm really hoping that I can go in person. And okay, so it was my first day back at school, right? I had chemistry today and it was online. That class needs to be in person. Like you just do not learn as well online for chemistry, especially since it's a three hour class, almost three hours. It's two hours and 50 minutes. That's a long time to be on Zoom. Next, I need one four ounce packet of vegetable soup mix. This packet is measured in grams. Okay, one gram equals 0 0.1 ounces, which means that one ounce equals 10 grams, which means that this is four ounces. That's right, I'm a math major. Okay, half of a one ounce package of dry onion soup mix. So that's half an ounce of onion soup mix. This package does not say. So it says I need a half an ounce of soup mix. That feels like literally nothing, but we're gonna, we're gonna test it with our kitchen scale. We're gonna use this little bowl. Okay, so I've zeroed it. And then, oh my gosh. Oh. That was dumb of me. Now we're gonna try and measure out half an ounce. It's 0 0.5 of an ounce. Hello? <laughs> it turned off. Here we have 0.5 of an ounce of soup mix. There it goes. That is all the ingredients. I'll do with that after. Ooh. Now I just mix it all. Usually I take, oh I forgot, usually I take out the like carrots from the vegetable soup mix because I don't really like them in it because they're like dehydrated and they don't rehydrate very well in it. I haven't made this in a while. So I could have done this horribly wrong. <laughs> no, I followed the recipe pretty well. I, sometimes I make huge mistakes. One time I was making this like tuna casserole and instead of putting in two teaspoons of seasoning salt, I put in two tablespoons and I was like, and my family was like, oh, it's okay. Like, we'll still eat it. We could not eat it. It was so salty. Like, it was inedible. Okay, this looks absolutely delicious. <laughs> it looks so good. It has to sit overnight or like sit for 24 hours or something before it's like ready to eat. So I'm going to like put it in the container, put it in the fridge, and then tomorrow I'll taste test it for you. This looks so gross, <laughs> but it's gonna taste literally so good. Lots of things that taste delicious look really weird. I will not elaborate. Okay, so this is in the container. So this is gonna go in the fridge. I'm so excited. Okay, so now we're going to, now we're gonna jump forward to tomorrow's taste test. So I'll see you after the taste test. I'm taste testing it. So it's in the container. I just used a spoon to scoop it out. I was gonna get a little bowl, but whatever. And I scooped it onto my piece of bread. This is my mom's homemade bread. I think it's sourdough. I'm not too sure though. Mm. So good. I love it. The water chestnuts are my favorite part. They just like that hint of like crunch. It needs a little more spinach though. It's a little spinach lacking, but it's delish. Okay, so now that we've taste tested it, I'm sure it was amazing. It's time to do my dishes. So I'm just gonna quickly rinse everything, put it in the dishwasher, put what needs to go back in the fridge, back in the fridge, and then I'll, I'll come back to you. All right, so that is my spinach dip. This was lots of fun. It, just, it was just a good thing. It was just a good way to I don't know, lift my mood. <laughs> and I literally love spinach dip, so. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can maybe subscribe. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite like party snack dip kind of food thing like that? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.